Hi everybody, Susan Dillman Stills here from Mount Comfort RV with Salem's newest travel trailer floor plan. Have you ever wished that your park model would go places? That you could take it somewhere else other than the lot you have it on? Well, guess what? Salem has answered your prayer and they've done it in style. There's no compromise with this 29 BDB. BDB. Um, you're going to need a pretty good truck to pull this just. I'm going to say that up front. Uh, at just under 8,000 pounds dry weight, you're going to need some pretty heavy duty sway bars. This is about 37 feet long, but that's where all the good stuff is. And actually they've crammed a ton of stuff in to just that under 37 feet. So of course we always bring them in with a, a power uh, tongue jack. Get your LP bottles here. Lovely curved um, fiberglass now on this. Uh, Salem, if you are familiar with Salem travel trailers, you often saw them in the aluminum. Well, now you get this beautiful uh, fiberglass skin. The other thing to take note of is your slide outs are prepped for slide out toppers. So if that's something that you wanted to add after market, you certainly can do that. Well, let's talk a little bit more about all the cool stuff that you could get in this travel trailer on the outside. The inside is really something you want to stick around to see. Of course, this massive area that you can get under, um, excuse me, pass through storage. Look at this. This is a dry erase board. So you can screen, there we go, sunscreen, <laughs> so that you can write your list there and not forget what you need to take as we travel down along here. It's a little tight on our lot right now. We have a lot of inventory, so we weren't able to get this 20 foot awning out, but you can see that beautiful LED light strip all the way across, and it's gonna be centered beautifully over your outside kitchen. Little pull out gas griddle, so you'll have a gas quick connect underneath. Great little beverage fridge here. Space to get a wine bottle in there, and a water quick connect. So you can set up a wash station right out here where you're cooking and right next to your waterproof outside speakers. Coax output for a television. You'll have a backer up here somewhere. 110 outlet, set up your air fryer. I'll pop that back open again. And then it's a ground fault interrupter circuit. You can set up your air fryer, your crock pot, quick pot, whatever you wanna do. Water fill right there. Of course, that solid step that we have come to love three step Salem's are a little bit higher than your cruise light and a lot of your FSX flush mount water heater right here this is a gas electric water heater so you've got your choice there whichever works best for you come around the back of course pre-wired for a backup camera a lot of people say on a trailer this long it's beneficial to have that you can just plug and play camera goes in that little shroud and then you'll have a separate monitor that sits on your dashboard once again, come back around, of course, shore power is right here. This is 30 amp. Cabled satellite hookup because perhaps some parks do still love, still uh, provide that. Black tank flush and your city water connection right there. Of course, manual stabilizer jacks. A lot of people say, oh gee, I wish I had the power jacks. I kind of like the manual stabilizer jacks because you can have independent length on all four locations, just get the right drill bit, heavy duty drill, bzz, they come right down. That's actually what we use on our showroom floor to set up our travel trailers. Well, I tell you what, we're gonna go inside where I'm gonna blow your mind. This has so many functions and so many ways to use it. My traveling nurses, my traveling construction guys, my big families who wanna take everybody along are just a couple that wants a lot of nice room they're all gonna fit in this travel trailer. So let's go inside. Now we're inside Salem's new 29B DB. B boy, D Daniel, B boy, B to B. I love to say it really fast. This is such a cozy trailer for as long and as large as it is, and it's gonna accommodate so much usage. Um, first of all, I love this L-shaped kitchen. You do have a lot of space here. The, the LED lights are super bright. Of course, you still have your nice pull down faucet here that's super functional. Got a three burner cooktop. So plenty of cooking inside. And they kept the oven. You know, we're seeing so many manufacturers go away from that oven. You can still slide a, 
a dish of cookies in there or some Totina's pizza rolls or whatever your favorite snack is. Your range hood does have a light and a fan. So very functional. No sacrifice there. Nice little microwave there. Just a regular microwave, but an 11 cubic foot Furion refrigerator. This is cool. Ooh, that looks good. I have one of those. <laughs> Plenty of room. This is a 12 volt electric refrigerator. And the cool thing about this is it's a lot more efficient than the old gas electric refrigerators. Uh, they cool down probably in about an hour, hour, maybe 45 minutes, and they're gonna stay cold longer. This is gonna operate, of course, down the road, off of the battery, which is charged by your truck. Um, when you're in the campground, of course, you'll have a little bit of battery operation, um, but then you're probably gonna wanna plug in. Look at this freezer. Plenty of room for a big bag of ice, and still plenty of room up here for frozen beverages, um, juices and things here, just extra little food that you want to stick in there, ice bags, things you want to take on your hikes. New, um, a new uh, fireplace here, a little bit of a mirror finish, which I think just kind of opens this up a little bit more. The more shiny surfaces you have, the more open this is going to feel. you got a residential sound bar here. And of course, if you're not familiar with these electric fireplaces, guys, these are a space heater. They can be just pretty or they can be pretty and warm and they will truly warm up a lot of, of the space in here. Here we go, this is super cool. Look at this, this huge lighted pantry. Of course, access to the back of your television, all of your inputs here so you can do what you need to do. But I've just got a few things on that shelf. There is plenty of room. Back here, you'll see this is where you can hook up um, to a Wi-Fi booster. You can also do a plug-in cell phone booster. We'll talk a little bit more about why that's really relevant in this trailer. Of course, your coax outputs additional plugs. So here's one of the things that some people will do. They will actually put toaster coffee pot in here, plug them in and never take them out so that they're not on your on your counter clogging up space. Of course, a little bit of more, a little bit more uh, power down there. Gonna shut that. We're gonna spin around now. I want to take a quick look at what you may have seen in some of the other Salem's and that is the Versa Lounge. Um, if you're not familiar with this, this space can do so many things. This back comes out. Move this over. This back comes out completely and you can, oops, you can take it out completely, fill in the cushion. You can flip it around and make your dinette like that. Little U-shaped or, or um, yeah, U-shaped dinette. Take this out completely, park it out of the way. Oops, put that down like that. You take the table legs out, drop your tabletop down onto a ledge, put the cushions on, pull this up, flatten it out, and it's bed space from one side of the slide box all the way to the other. Now you tell me if that doesn't sleep a lot of extra people. Well, I'm going to pop this couch back up a little bit. If you're not familiar with this term, this is a jackknife sofa. A little stiff because she's new. But I also want to show you some of the storage in this trailer, which is amazing. You're going to see this in some of the other Salem's. Three totes here. And by the way, what you're looking at, a woven vinyl mat. No more carpet. This is so much easier to clean. Just a little bit of water and maybe uh, some, some gentle soap, not detergent wipes right up and it's great for cleaning up pet hair. Over here, you're gonna have additional storage under each side of the dinette. On the other side, you'll have a tote too. And no too, this doesn't begin to consume all of the space. It goes all the way back there. I guess I should have grabbed that flashlight and shown you a little bit better what we've got under there. And of course you have more stuff, um, a lot of storage space. All, I'm getting so excited. Um, there's more storage space under that back bench of the dinette. So plenty of places to stow besides your secret pantry, your cabinets over the sink, and just a little bit of everywhere. Put a little shoe cubby down here. Pick this back up out of the way so you can see that. We'll lay this over here. Isn't that awesome? Are you thinking about all of the things that you can put in this trailer? Certainly long time. Let's go in the bedroom real quick. 
and then we'll step into the bathroom. What we're looking here at is what Salem calls their custom king. What you need to know is that it's about two inches shorter than a standard king. So tall folks, it's gonna accommodate you. It's about 66 inches wide, which is six inches wider than a queen, but 10 inches longer, excuse me, 10 inches shorter than a standard um, king. So it's a little bit narrower and just a teeny bit shorter than a real king. Here's one of the cool things though, you have shirt closets on both sides. This is routed out right here so that you can use this as a place to kind of hide things, um, slip your tablet or your phone because you're gonna have 110 outlets on both sides. And you're also going to have USB chargers on both sides, two USB chargers on both sides. Of course, when we lift up the bed, more access to your outside storage and look at the totes that they gave you. These are awesome. You can take these inside, pack them out, stick them in here, and you are good to go. A lot of storage space. And of course, shoe cubby underneath. You have heat ducted in the floor. You do have a heated and enclosed underbelly on this travel trailer. More storage up top. And this does go all the way through. So these are not separate cabinets. You have storage all the way across. It does end right here though for your shirt closet one more place look at this a standard closet i don't have the light on there but it is actually a lighted closet um, plenty of room more stuff on the floor a shelf and tons of hanging room see i told you this could be a park model all right or you can take this to, to florida to texas wherever it is that you're gonna winter this is a beautiful long window here we've got the shade pulled right now just to kind of keep the glare excuse to keep the glare down now, the piece de resistance. Look at this. It's the bunk room. So double over double bunks. Each one of these holds about 300 pounds with USB charges and lights both ways. Big light right, or excuse me, big um, emergency exit window there. Storage underneath the bottom bunk. So your outside kitchen doesn't consume the storage that you want to have under that bunk. A lovely half bath with tons of storage, medicine cabinet, shelf underneath, lots of light. There is a skylight in here as well, right here. Great little office, set up a little chair here. You've still got more storage here. You could even slip some stuff there. This is a great spot to put the dog kennel. This is a great spot to kind of close off from everybody else. Kids need to go to bed early. You need a little peace and quiet to get just a little bit of work done so that you can still enjoy having maybe a longer weekend. Well, I've got one more bathroom to show you. This is only the half bath. Let's go look at the full bath and it's amazing. All right, I'm gonna step in the shower. It probably doesn't look big until I get in it. Now, I'm about five foot four, I'm not a huge person, but I've got plenty of wing room. You can see there's a huge skylight here, and this shower rod is bowed out, so that when I close it, I've got even more room sideways than I had just standing facing you. Pretty cool, huh? And it, of course, um, will drain into the shower pan. It's not gonna drip out, it's great. It's not gonna stick to your legs when you're in here trying to shower. Toilet is angled, so you get a little bit more space in here. You can actually come in here and shut the door. And now my videographer, Troy, is gonna come on in and we're gonna show you even more cool stuff. Check this out. There's a great linen shelving unit here with additional space under the sink and a medicine cabinet. Isn't it awesome? <laughs> when I got in this trailer, it truly was in, in, enthusiastic about all of the possible uses, all of the people that I could take in this, where I could put it, how I would use it, who could come with me, who couldn't come with me. Um, and I just wanted to step back in here so you could get one more great look at how wonderful this is. You know, as pretty and as homey and as spacious as this is, don't be surprised if I don't have my office in this by the time you come see me. I'm Susan Dildon Stills. If you need more information about this or any of the other hundreds of travel trailers we have on our lot right now, please call me here at Mount Comfort RV.